That breaking news alert. Sources say the man wanted in the bombings in New York and New Jersey is in custody. Officials took 28-year-old Ahmad Rahami into custody following a firefight with police in New Jersey. According to initial reports, there was an officer that was injured in that shooting. We want to go live now to Diane Gallagher. She is in Elizabeth with the breaking details about what happened during that shootout. Uh, the man uh, that federal and local officials believe is connected to all three bombings in New York and New Jersey yeah, over the past sorry, few yeah. hours is now in custody. We are told that 28-year-old Ahmad Rahmi is, uh, was in custody. They took him into custody after a police shootout in Linden, New Jersey. We want to show you some video now of him being carried away after that shootout uh, on a gurney there. Now, again, this happened in Linden, New Jersey. Uh, police received a tip this morning that someone may have spotted him in that area. They followed up on that tip, obviously engaging in a shootout in that area. We're told that at least two officers, one was shot in the hand, the other in the vest. We do not know the state of Rahmi at this point. Now, law enforcement officials are telling us that they began identifying him as early as Sunday afternoon. And part of that, thanks to surveillance video, where they believe he was the man carrying, rolling that duffel bag here in the uh, 23rd Street of Chelsea and also a few blocks over where they found the other pressure cooker bomb. Uh, they do believe again that he is related to all three of the bombings, the one in Seaside in the trash can before the Marine Corps uh, run, the one here in Chelsea that injured dozens of people, and also the one in Elizabeth where they found an IED in a book bag near a train stop. Now again, we are not sure if, Rah if Rahmani is the only person involved. Police still working very hard in this investigation. Uh, President Obama addressing the situation earlier, asking people to remain calm and also to remain vigilant. So uh, she was mentioning the president speaking earlier today. The president during that speech also said that investigators don't see a connection to the bombings in New York and also the stabbing that happened in Minnesota.